Tonight, new developments in a weekend hit and run here in Providence that sent a mother and her young child to the hospital. It happened last night on Atwells Avenue, seen right here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. Police say a driver rear-ended one car, then took off, hitting two others in the process. And today, the suspect went to court and was charged with being drunk behind the wheel. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotting joins us now live with tonight's top local story from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. And Mike, police say this man was so drunk that he was actually having trouble standing on his own two feet when they caught him. He was driving down Atwell's Ave here behind me, heading eastbound towards service road number seven or downtown Providence when he hit that woman with the toddler inside the car. Then he tried to take off and leave the scene and we're told that he went flying down this side street to get away. 24 year old Esteban Gomez in court accused of being extremely drunk when he crashed into a car with a mother and toddler on Atwell's Ave and then took off. This man witnessed it all happen. The car reversed, hit a pole, uh, then swung around, reversed again, went down a little access road and hit a couple of vehicles. In court, prosecutors say Gomez was so drunk that he was swaying when police finally caught up with him. And he also came out of the white pickup truck, they say, with an open bottle of beer. Police had to hold on to him just to keep him standing from falling to the ground. Several men were also in the pickup truck. The eyewitness tells us a passenger tried to escape. He kind of stumbled, fell out of the vehicle. Uh, he had a couple of bottles in his hand, uh, so I followed him through the park. Once the truck left, I, I told him, you have to come back here. He caught up with him in a nearby park. I just followed him through the park and told him, come on, you got to come back. There was a little baby in the car. Gomez is now charged with DUI, leaving the scene of an accident, obstructing a police officer, and driving without a license. And we're told that mom and the child, the toddler, actually had minor injuries in all of this, luckily. And as for Gomez, we're also told that he was so drunk again, prosecutors say, that he had to be brought to Rhode Island Hospital himself for treatment. His bail tonight is set at $5,000 surety. Reporting live tonight from Atwell's Ave with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.